Hi everyone, how are you? Today we will make an introduction into tables in FrameMaker, which is a very powerful function. Imagine this is our uh, sample document and we would like to enter a table there. The uh, shortest way to do it is to go to Table in the menu bar, then select Insert Table which brings up this dialog box. Let's say we are going to have three columns and five body rows and we will have one heading row and the uh, table format let's select this is built in form as format A and we need table continuation. Uh, this is a system variable so is this table sheet, number of sheets. Uh, I always select these when I create a table. So insert. Here's our table. Now it created five columns. Why that is the case? Let me check it. Control T will bring up the uh, table designer for us. Uh, where we can adjust some basic uh, variables. Now, if I want to uh, delete one or two, if they are extra, it is uh, very useful to have view toolbars, table formatting toolbar right there. After selecting the columns uh, here, it says select column, select this, select that. Remove row or column. I click these and boom, I am down to, down to three columns. Now here, uh, let me, video standard is my column uh, label, country. If you want to extend any of the columns, I select and look what happens to my cursor as I approach this black square. It turns into a little selection arrow. And if I pull it, there you go. I can arrange the length of, the, of a table uh, in any way I like. And the thing I like most about this uh, table toolbar is like select all table icon button here. Once I select whole table, I can hit Control T, which opens the table designer, and I can uh, select uh, my table style. Like shaded blue. Let's see what this is. Oh. It's, it inserts nice alternating uh, light blue for the rows, shaded gray. Now these tables and everything else in FrameMaker looks much better when you create a PDF. Now uh, basic rules is, let's see, table margins. These determine what the margins will be above a table, under a table and cell padding, I can increase the uh, area around cell content by, for example, increasing this to 12, to top, right 12, bottom 12 points, left 12 points. If I apply, 
as you can see the table kind of uh, expands and if I click update style it asks me whether to retain, retain overrides now 12 points has become a part of the shaded gray uh, table designer now if you look at the status bar here this the style of this row is heading cell and this is cell body now what if I want to have a distinctive uh, cell heading column heading style I select then I I display format paragraphs uh, paragraph designer cell heading I just uh, change the fonts here I change it to let me see Arial black apply okay now this is kind of looking a little funky so I increase the column width now if I, if I click update style here now and click retain overrides now Arial black header is now part of the cell heading style of shaded gray table style you see and if you reach the uh, end of a table you can just click tab and it will automatically add another row and let's say I want to delete uh, this row you select and you hit the delete button now clear table cells will offer you two options now he wants to know whether you want to clear the content and leave the cells empty like so control Z or you want to delete you want to delete remove the cells from the table altogether see we have one less row however FrameMaker automatically adjusts the alternating shading uh, of the table so that doesn't disrupt the formatting and looks uh, of the table at all and if your table stretches across two pages or more pages remember how we selected the continued continued uh, table variable when we were creating the table so that's why it says continued here and it also tells us this is sheet 2 of 2 since we selected table sheet uh, variable it's taken care of uh, automatically now table designer has a lot of options and assume you have other countries here just making up etc etc right as you can see the row height adjusts itself automatically but if I am to override the row height manually you select the row right click go to row format this opens the row format dialog box where you can specify like one inch maximum 14 of the height of the row see now we have a one inch high row and to center the text we select this it centers so you can do a lot of stuff here including for example stra straddling two cells you right click straddle right this is an option uh, used very uh, frequently in a lot of tables that I design or you can unstraddle it back to the old looks so you have all these options to explore and as to ruling uh, you can select like 
top is thin now, right? Uh, you can select it thick so it'll put this thick border on top and if you select this row let us put a um, similarly thick line to the bottom of this selected row well instead since this is a table border not row border it placed it all the way down here. Now to let's again select the whole table and change all rules lines to thick right this is thick let's select thick bottom thick left thick this is for the table now this is the separators for columns and rows thick this is also thick let's apply Let's see what happens. Oh, this is very nice. It thickened the header and the whole table. Now, if you want to do the same to columns and rows, you need to go here and select thick. Everything you have to select thick and then click apply. Now you have a real strong uh, looking uh, table. So the, these are the basics of uh, creating a table from scratch in uh, FrameMaker. There's a lot more to be said. There are the shading, for example, head round footer. We can change it to uh, pale green. And fill, we can select like 10% pale green or 100% pale green uh, it, it is so configurable everything and the, the body the rows first for example instead of black we can select uh, blue the body row fill 100% blue the first third right uh, so it, it just jumps from one row to other. If this is too heavy for you, you can go down to like 10% 10, 10 and it becomes uh, light blue. So uh, there's no end to experimenting, selecting different options. There are infinite options, options depending on what you exactly want to do with your tables. So in the next video, we will look at what happens when we copy and paste tables.